Egg Sherry Cast Scotch Whiskey is a big favourite the world over. The Sherry Bomb is very popular. Now many Sherry Cask Whiskey expressions have started maturation in ex bourbon casks. So to simplify this, we're going to focus on general Sherry Cask Scotch Whiskey. Whether it's Speyside, Highland, PT Isla, Rather than specific brands or regions, this top five will provide tools to pair better with confidence. So let's just dive in there right now. Hello, Hendo here and welcome to my top five ex sherry cask whiskey food pairings. In this video, I'll share the best ways to pair each menu course or occasion. Now, for a quick definition on ex sherry cask scotch whiskey, it's a wide topic and it's similar complexities in a way to ex bourbon cask scotch whiskey. Uh, which I'll put a video link to for you to see there. Sherry cask are second most common type of cask used in after ex bourbon casks. Sometimes the whiskey is fully matured in a cask that previously held sherry fortified wine or is seasoned finished for the last year or so. It can be heavily sherried first fill, second fill or refill casks and then there's different styles of sherry. The two main ones in whiskey used for aging are Oloroso Dry Sherry and PX Pedro Jimenez Sherry and the different oak, European oak, French, but mostly often is uh, Spanish oak, Quercus Ruba for a Sunday name. Sizes of castle hogs head 250 litres or sherry but 500 litres. And of course the maturation age will determine the final outcome. As there's a vast array of flavour nuances covering many brands in all regions, we'll simplify and base the pairings on Oloroso Heavy Sherry style. Oloroso Sherry is an oxidised fortified wine from the Palomino grape grown in the south of Spain. First, we want to nose the whisky you are planning to pair to take note of key flavours. If you can identify aromas, especially spicy notes, woody, exotic fruits, dried fruits, maple syrup, nutty, marzipan, coffee, caramel or toast, you have just identified aromatic volatile compounds of eugenols, esters, sotalone, lactones, maltol, furfurols. Then you can find these compounds in foods to complement the whisky. Consider the whisky's strength. If it's cast strength or it's diluted down, how you serve it will make the difference to your choices. More intense flavours need to stand up to each other or be punctuated by key aromatic spices. So here are my five top ways to pair egg sherry cast scotch whisky. Number one, starter and main course dishes. I've grouped this together to suit how you want to do it. But first up, Ex sherry casks are rich in eugenols, whiskey lactones, and a Maillard reaction. I'll leave a link here to how to marry malts and molecules video, I'll give you a bit more detail. So, grilled steak or lamb shank and spices. Oloroso sherry cask is the influence of oxidation, dry cure prosciutto, uh, iberico ham, smoked meats, a bresaiola, and seafood. Go with rich flavoured oily fish. If PTX sherry cask, go with smoked seafood and shellfish. Everything from the barbecue will work here. Reduced balsamic and rich soy sauce also works. Number two, desserts strong in eugenols. So mango, strawberry, pineapple, coffee, chocolate, dates, dried figs, almonds, walnuts, hazelnuts, maple syrup, rose water and vanilla. Why not try cinnamon dusted baklava, camembert ice cream or this dark chocolate blue cheese tart with rose water caviar. All are good options with egg sherry cast scotch whiskey. Number three, chocolate pairing. So I separated this from the dessert pairing for shop bought chocolate bars. Starting with the chocolate, I would go with a higher percentage cacao, maybe 70% dark chocolate with Nuts like hazelnut, almonds, pecan, praline, or even marzipan will work really well. But also think about dark chocolate with orange zest. It's absolutely delicious. Number four, cheesies. For a cheese pairing, go with big flavoured cheeses. Brie de Mont et Poisse, intense boucheron ghost cheese, aged gouda, parmigiano reggiano, and uh, peated sherried Isla whiskey, strong blue cheese that's going to stand up to the whiskey. 
Number five, herbs and spices. These are going to turbocharge and build flavor bridges within your recipes. So think about original rich cloves, cinnamon, nutmeg, Chinese five spice, curry spices, black pepper, fairy creek, lovage, star anise, and saffron. To summarize, my top five egg sherry cast scotch whiskey peelings are number one, grilled steak or cured meat smoked seafood. Number two is rich desserts. Number three, dark chocolate with nuts. Number four, strong flavored cheeses. And number five, spices like cloves, five spice or cinnamon. These will provide the harmonies in your recipes. So tell us what you think, what your favorite sherry cask whiskey pairings are. Share with us in the comments. And I hope this was useful to you. And until next time, thanks very much for watching.